What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know I'm a little late to be doing an unboxing for this figure. And if you are watching this, thank you and everything else for checking out the video. So right here, as y'all can see on the title and the thumbnail, I am going to be unboxing Titanus Tiamat with Submarine. Give y'all a little bit of a look at her. Now she has like this yellow mist right here, but we'll get into the color so once we get her out of the box. Just going to check out the box real quick. Going to check out the back. And if you want, you can pause the video right here and read the um, thing that they got right here for her. Now at the bottom here, now she is the second wave. So we do have the Godzilla, the Kong right here, but for some reason they don't have Mothra on here. So Mothra must be like a special or something else. I have not seen a Mothra in stores whatsoever, but I'm glad that I was able to finally find this one right here. So let's go on and get her out of her cardboard prison. Alright, she's gotten out of the cardboard box, looking nice and everything, but before we talk about her, let's go on and talk about what she comes with, and that is the submarine. Now, I'm glad how they did this, because they actually put some good detail in this. If the camera can focus, you can see all the lines and those little uh, detail spots on it. And I think those might be where those lights were at on the sides. But we don't have those two little spots on the front. But that is okay because we still get a submarine to go with her. And for some other figures, the propeller looks good. Got the little curve and got the little spot right there in the center. Kind of almost looks um like realistic how a submarine looks almost let me rephrase that almost like what one looks like but um there's nothing else to say about it but i just like the detail and everything that they did instead just giving us just a blink tube with a depeller they actually put in the work on it so you gotta at least uh, appreciate that and hang on is this like um no that's just where the molding part was I almost thought that was like a little indent for like when they come up or surface but I think on ones that look like this it would be like right here where that little spot is I don't really know I just taking a wild guess but let's go on and move this out the way to show off Tiamat. If the camera would focus on her. Now, before we get into anything, let's go on and talk about the articulation. Because as soon as I touch this, you're going to see it and you can also see the joints. Now, I know a lot of y'all have already seen videos of this. And I'm, like I said earlier, thank you if you are watching this. But first up, we're going to talk about from the head. Mouth can open almost 90 degrees. If you wanted to, you can actually get to go even more than that for a wide mouth. And also, this is not an articulation, but this is kind of still movement. And that is the whiskers right here because the plastic that they are. They are very bendable and can be moved around like behind the flower petal um, fins. Can be moved down here. Or like, to, it, and water whiskers would be moving around anyways like this, especially when she's swimming. They would go backwards and they stop and go forwards and everything. So I do like how we can do that with these. Too bad they don't have a wire in them to stay 
still, but the same as like these little ones on top. Well, not little ones, but these ones on top can be moved around too, down and up. So I just figured I just add that as an art, like kind of movement stuff, so you can move these out the way if you needed to. These right down here don't really move like these do, so that's why I wanted to add these as an art, as like an articulation or just movement. But to move on, the head is on a ball joint. She can look up for. Now with this, you, she can look up pretty far. That's going almost looking straight up. Looking down, she does not do, and that's because of the um, how much um, plastic they got down here on her neck, and probably the ball joint, like how big the circle is, hinders that. Now I don't get is this. She can. This is as far as she can look to the left but if you want her to look to the right it's like look at that she looked all the way over but not going the other way see i'm not doing nothing i'm trying to get her to go over there's no looking that way all that's like looking this away and now to the arms arms and legs because they both do the same thing they're on a hinge so they can go up pretty far. Now this is also an interesting thing. The arms are not just side by side. They are actually one is higher up than the other. So I do kind of like that, that differentness. And they can go in pretty far too. You can get them actually to touch hands almost like she's clapping. But there is something else the arms can do. But I'll show that off in a second. But for the rest of the body, it's on all ball joints right here. Because of her being like surf, like um, serpentine, she would probably need this. So I do like that they didn't just give us just a solid plastic. They actually put in the extra work to do all this. So I do like that. Now for what I was talking about, the arms can, arms and legs can do something. Also, the body can too, and that is this. You can actually pop the ball joints off real easily if you wanted to do like the scene that um, what happens to her or what Godzilla does to her, and they just pop back on real easily. You just got to get the right angle, and they just pop back in. Same as the arms. But if you're going to pop the arms off, do not just grab right here and pull off. Put your hands right here where the... Um, little um, spots are right here or where the joint is and they just um, pop right out and they just pop back in too just like that you might have to push and turn because they do have those little um, lips on the um, um, joint part right there so they don't just fall out but everything does it from the tail, this spot, all the way up to the head. Even the head will just pop straight off. Now, looking at this, I'm trying to see why is there no, like, uh, turning the other way. And I don't see nothing that's really hindering it for some reason. Oh, never mind. I do see it. It's the neck itself. As you can see, like, the ball part is facing one way already instead of just being in the center so that's why it does that and that just pops back on now we're going to talk about her size now if you stretched her out let me turn that back around so it don't look too um, awkward but if you took her from the tip of her snap to the tip of her tail and stretch, just stretched her out like this, fully opened up. She's about a foot long. So a little short there than what the other figures are if you wanted to do like wrapping her around. But still a good size for um, the figure. And now we're going to talk about her design because if you have noticed, this does not match up with what we see in the finished product in the film. And that is because they went for the concept art for Tiamat. 
and especially you can tell by because the head would have had the um, fin that little fin going from starting off where the brow is and going down does not have that it just starts like right here and just goes but other than that i still like how she looks but the, before we finish off i want to put her with somebody and that is godzilla or godzilla energize and this is the one that i repainted as like i said in a, the earlier video i did not pick up that one because it's just the same as what i got right here just slightly different but also if you take her head and put on his shoulder and where her arms line up with right here is the same length as what it is in the movie then she gets right here rolls around now her legs should have been just slightly right here but it kind of does reach right there so that's pretty good it's just they got everything else um kind of right with these playmates figures it's just the length of the tail we just kind of got short on but other than that everything else is pretty good with her we're gonna move godzilla away from her so he does not um destroy her or take her out but um yeah we're gonna leave it as that gonna get the submarine back in the frame but yeah i hope everybody liked this unboxing and um review of titanus tiamat and i hope to see everybody next time